guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to turn a milk bottle into a T-Rex skull. So one of you guys actually sent me this idea and it was created by a guy called Daryl Wakelam. So I'll link credit down below where I can and um, he did these really cool instruction sheets but I thought I would do an instructional video that you guys can follow along at home. So this is one I've made already. So as you can see it doesn't resemble a milk bottle much at all once it's done. So it's pretty simple. All you're going to need is a four pint milk bottle like this, some masking tape or something to secure the bits when we cut them up, and a pair of scissors or a sharp knife. So if you are a kid watching this make sure you get your parent to help you just because we don't want little fingers getting cut. But um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take any labelling off your milk bottle and then remove the lid, but you want to put this somewhere safe because we don't want to lose this. That will come in handy a bit later. So the first step is we're going to cut the bottle in half, but stop at the base here because the bottle of the milk bottle is going to act like the jaw hinge. So using the scissors, just cut down the neck of the bottle. It might be a little bit stiff to start with. There we go. And it doesn't matter if it isn't perfect. And you just want to stop right about there. So that's one side. So do the same on the other side. So you should have something like this left. So the bottom of it is the hinge to the jaw. Next step is we're going to cut the neck off of the milk bottle. So these two bits here we're going to remove and put them to one side with the bottle lid as they'll be used for a different part of the skull. So just using the scissors. Like that. Oh, mine went flying. We now should be left with something like this. So before we do anything else with the bottle, take the two necks you've just cut off and actually cut these in half. So just like this. So these are going to act as the eyebrows and nostrils in the long run. So just put them with the lid for now, somewhere safe. Like so. But for the next step, it's a little bit fiddly to do with a pair of scissors, so I recommend using a knife to cut out the handle here. So you want to just cut that sort of rectangle out, including this bit here, um, and we're then going to stick it on top of the head. But first things first, cut that panel out. So you now should have something like this and something like this. So what we're going to do is on this part of the bottle, we're actually going to stick this on the top like that. So you can kind of see that's going to be the eye of the T-Rex. But in order for this to stick flat, we might need to cut some strips around this to actually secure it on. So just do little snips like this and it just helps the plastic kind of go flat onto the top of this and you can then just use the masking tape to secure it. Now you should have something like this with some slits in and it should make it easier to secure onto the top of the bottle like that so it just helps it go a bit flatter. So using the masking tape or sellotape secure that onto the top of the bottle here and it should look something like that. 
You should have something like this now. Don't worry what it looks like. All you want is the handle stuck on this like so. And this is all flimsy, but we'll sort that out in a minute. But the first thing we're going to do is make the nostrils now of your T-Rex. So as you can see, at the moment it's got a massive circle cut out so we're going to ignore the bottom jaw for now and focus on the top so taking your scissors you want to cut a few slits like this into the nose so something like that because then what you're going to do is use these slits to remold the nose so have a play around with what you've cut and you can see like that, it starts to kind of mold a new nose from it. So you want to have a play around until you find your desired nostril shape. And then you want to secure it with tape as well. what it should look like about now so you have a much more sort of curved nose straight for your t-rex but you might see that it's got a bit of an underbite going on with this bottom jaw so what we're going to do with the bottom jaw is actually just cut a slit where the circle was so you can see that's what it looked like and then you're going to overlap the two pieces of plastic until they sit about the same same width as the top jaw and then just secure that with masking tape. now have something like this so the jaw should sit a little more equal or however you would like it to sit and you can start to see the skull kind of forming so we're now going to focus on the bottom jaw so what you want to do is cut out this rectangle here so it will be all hollow and then we're going to use that panel to reinforce the front of the skull because I think it's more important to be here than at the back so let's do that So this will just help to give the bottom jaw a bit more strength. So just like that. So you can put more masking tape along it, but for now, this is kind of the bare minimum you need to hold the shape like that. So we're now going to move on to the eyes and the nostrils. So the eyes are going to go here and the nostrils will go on the end here. And these are kind of like the eyebrows and nostrils or eyelids, if you like. So you should have four of these that we cut earlier. So you'll need those to one side. And then taking the lid, you want to cut the lid in half. So it might be a little bit tricky to do with scissors, but if so, maybe get a knife. Just like that. So these are going to act like the eyes for our T-Rex. So they'll just slot in there. The first thing we need to do to start the eyes off is fill this hole up. So to do that, just put some masking tape either side of it, just so it's no longer a hole. And that will give us the base to then put the eyes in. You should have something like this now. And now we're going to secure on the eyelids or eyebrows whatever you'd like to call them and we're going to put them just at the top of this kind of handle indent here so round about there so just secure them on with a little bit more masking tape but the eye should so far look something like this so now what you should find is the half the lid you cut should fit nicely in each of those 
little half circles just like that so now what you want to do is secure the lid in place so you should have something looking like this so I know it looks a bit of a mess right now with just masking tape here there and everywhere but once we finish all the cutting and sticking you can cover it in masking tape or in paper mache whichever you prefer um, to then do your design on so don't worry too much about that so now what we're going to do is move on to the nostrils so you should have two little bits of plastic left and what you want to do is you want to put them on the end of the nose where you'd like them to go so maybe something like this and then just secure them on with masking tape so we are now on to the final step before all you need to do is add your artistic edge to the skull and it's probably the most important bit it's the teeth so as you can see we currently have a t-rex that's in need of dentures so in order to make this work use a pair of scissors and you're gonna cut out a panel of teeth at the back here so you're going to stop halfway and then you're going to stick the reverse of what you're cutting out on the front that sounds confusing i know but if you watch it'll make sense i promise so first cut a slit and then you want to turn it upside down and cut a zigzag but don't cut all the way to the edge of the plastic because we want both to be sets of teeth so if you watch you can see that it forms another panel So once you get just past halfway, I'd say, you want to finish it off by just cutting one tooth all the way down. So you should have some teeth looking like that, and then the bit that just fell off, you want to use to carry the teeth around the front of your jaw, like that. So now you want to do the same thing but on the other side of your T-Rex skull and then again on the base. So you should now have something like this with the teeth. So what you want to do now is focus on the bottom. So in order to fill this gap here, I just use sheets of masking tape just to kind of hide the hole and then when you paint over it or paper mache it, it just completely disappears. So just masking tape the whole base here. This is what you should be left with now. So it kind of looks a bit like a mummified T-Rex skull, but this is now the basic base to work on for your artistic interpretation of how you want your T-Rex skull to look. So you can cover it in paper mache, cover it in feathers, paint it, whatever you like. So here's one I did earlier. So you can see, it's a, I paper mache this one, so it's got a lot more strength to it. And if you look, I didn't actually paint over the paper mache, I used newspaper. So these were just colours I found within the newspaper to give it the colour effect. So you guys can do the same. Um, and yeah, just make them your own. So in order to open up the jaw, whilst it's drying, I prop something in between. So I use the bottle and then when it dries, it dries with a nasty jaw like this. So that's how you turn a milk bottle into a T-Rex skull. So I just thought it was a fun little project you guys can do at home. It's using up, you know, something that would just be recycled and turning it into something a bit more fun. And you guys can really use your artistic flair on these. You can cover them in whatever you want, any colours. You can really make them your own. So, yeah. A fun project you guys can do so that is all I've got for you guys today I do hope you enjoyed this video and that you might make your own t-rex skulls but um thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please like and subscribe let me know in the comments what you thought of this craft and um, I'll be back with more soon thanks for watching